The Miami Heat have had interest in Bradley Beal for a while now. With it looking more and more likely that the Wizards will trade their star shooting guard, it's a perfect time for the Heat to swoop in and become top contenders in the East. What's up guys, it's your boy Pulse Livid, and today I'm going to show you how the Heat land Bradley Beal. Before we get into it, like and subscribe if you want more NBA content in the future. Now, let's get right into it. Bleacher Reports posted an article titled, Realistic Traits That Could Stun NBA Fans. The article had players like Zach Levine going to Orlando and Victor Oladipo to Phoenix, but at the end of the article, they had Bradley Beal to Miami. The trade proposed was Bradley Beal and Maurice Wagner for Tyler Harrow, Duncan Robinson, Andre Iguodala, and Kelly Olenek. This hypothetical trade set heat Twitter against one another. Before I dive any deeper, let's see how much the players in the trade will make. Bradley Beal is set to make $28 million next season, $34 million during 2021, and a $37 million player option during the 2022 season. Maritz Wagner is set to make $2 million next season with a $3.8 million team option for 2021. Tyler Harrow makes $3.8 million next year, and then he gets team options for the next two years worth $4 million and $5.7 million. This spans through 2022. Duncan Robinson is set to make a measly $1.6 million next year, while Andre Iguodala makes $15 million next year with $15 million team option in 2021. And lastly, Kelly Olenek, he's on a $12 million player option next season. Bradley Beal comes to be that number one scoring option that the Heat truly need, while Maritz Wagner is a solid stretch four or five. Harrow will be what Washington builds around for their future, as he showcased his clutch genes and confidence that you look for in a star player. Duncan is an elite three-point shooter who they could choose to bring back if they wanted. Andre Iguodala is there to make salaries work, but can be used as a trade piece for the Wizards. Either that or they cut him. Kelly Olenek would most likely not be brought back. For both teams, this trade would be a win. For Washington, you make a splash trio with Harrow, Robinson, and Bertans. This makes them one of the best three-point shooting teams in the league, as Duncan and Davis are two of the best three-point shooters in the league percentage-wise, while Harrow shows great potential to be shooting 39% from three as a rookie. Not to mention, they save cap after the season. As for Miami, they form a big three of Butler, Beal, and Bam, to make them one of the most dangerous teams in the East. Do you see the Miami Heat making this trade? What about Washington? Would you change anything? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. A lot of hard work goes into these videos, so I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe.